Hello, y'all. Long time no see. Although it probably ain't been that long for y'all. It's only been a week as far as upload time. But it's been well over a week since I recorded a video. But considering that the last video that I did was over... Actually, it was my longest video in history. I've been doing YouTube for over seven years across three YouTube channels. And that's the first time that I ever done a video that nearly was three hours long. And it's the second video ever that I've ever done that was more than an uh, hour long. Like, I mean, no, I got plenty of hour long videos, but that's the first multi-hour video. The, no, the second. So, in 2019, at the end of the year and at the beginning of the year, I did two videos that were two plus hours long. The one about the, you know, foundational black Americans versus Adolf with, you know, you know Tony O'Moore and them. And then you got the last one with the healthcare with Marion Wimerson, Andrew Yang, Bernie Sanders, and Elizabeth Warren. Since then, a lot has changed. Within a short period of time, I told y'all I was looking at not one, not two, but three job opportunities um, dropped in my lap last minute. I finally accepted one and it's actually at a physical location. I'm not working at home. So for that reason is I've been out the house have not had time to log on i've been going through training and for the um past week now um they've had me from in the afternoon to late at night so i never could get you know time to actually do youtube videos this is the first time i'm actually getting off at six and it's now eight o'clock and i'm just jumping on so i'm still not even fully back yet until sometime next week next week when they have me off at five o'clock that would definitely give me a lot more, you know, time to record videos of whatever. But in the midst of that, a lot of stuff happened. Um, Marion Wimerson dropped out of the race, and y'all know I got a video expressing my thoughts on that. So for y'all that was wondering, that video is coming. I definitely got a lot to say about that, along with, you know, some more about Boyce Watkins. Antonio Moore, Tariq Nasheed, and all of them and where they dropped the ball in regards to Marianne Wimerson. Um, my birthday passed. I turned 27 on the 12th. You know, Team Capricorn over here. And I started work literally the day before my birthday. I started on the 11th. And it's now officially... Let me see, sir. It's officially my fifth day at work. And it's a whole new area. So it, it's almost like working at Pilgrims where, you know, a girl has got out her comfort zone once again and has decided to do something that I've never done. So this is a year for me to learn stuff new all over again. Like I started out as a clerk. I started out doing data entry. I've done home-based businesses for over 10 plus years. I've done marketing. I've done visual merchandising sales all of that aesthetics hair well i never done cosmetology professionally but i know how to do hair um and then you know girl wanted to study and be a licensed veterinarian minor in chemistry and history with a concentration in african minority studies so i always been multifaceted but i never got to do certain you know regular jobs such as fast food grocery um uh, factory work and i have now can say that i have now checked off all of those lists so with this new job i, I can't tell y'all what it is necessarily right now in this video but we will do a video about it soon enough and this is going to help me stack my coins up i don't predict me actually having no seizures and stuff on this job now a couple people have dri been driving my nerves that's about it but outside of that definitely not no job where i had to worry about my health um pay is a little bit less but um definitely above minimum wage something i can work with something that i it can help me you know propel my aesthetics business so i'm glad to finally be back gainfully employed under something that is more stable in income because unlike this person who's the main topic of this video five minutes in we're going to finally get up to the person of the hour which is nikki tutorials so in the midst of me going through all that i've been going through at the top of the new year 
um, you know, trying to make it where I can darn going to get my transition and stuff together because a girl ain't got 14 million subscribers. A bitch don't even got a thousand. <laughs> but, you know, we love every bit of our 807 subscribers on here. Shout out to the 807 subscribers that pay attention to Diva Juan, honey. With my doggone strong jaw, because I ain't got it like Nikki, honey. Miss Nikki sitting up on doggone rats on rats on rats. But on a serious note, people try to doggone come for her bad, trying to doggone blackmail a fellow sister. And I ain't know she was a sister like that, honey. Turns out, Miss Doggone Nikki Detorius is part of the transgender community. At first, everybody thought she was coming out as bisexual, lesbian. She talking about, I'm coming out. I'm coming out. I'm gonna let. And then. I was like, wait a minute, in this day and age, le I, I mean, I, it didn't make sense because I was like, lesbians and transgender, I mean, lesbians and bisexuals have always been accepted, especially in this more liberated age. So I didn't know, especially with her being in the beauty community, her being white, I didn't understand the need of her coming out because I thought she was coming out as a lesbian. I was like, that don't make any sense. Then I said, okay, the shocking thing is she's a transgender man. I was like, what? Because I thought, you know, I obviously I was thinking about Trisha Paytos. Honey shot me when she said she was a transgender woman. And then my dumb ass thinking, wait a minute, how is she trans? And then it turned out she was born, you know, in the wrong body. And I was like, oh, okay, now it makes sense. But we was like, wait a minute, you've been on YouTube forever. Turns out she actually transitioned when she was young. So she threw us throughout all the loops. We thinking, okay, lesbian, bisexual, nope, nope. Transgender man, nope. Honey, she's a trans woman who's always been living her best life. I ain't going back and forth with you. Now, of course, she can't say that, honey. Now, da, 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 Nikki. Nikki and my darn on Jennifer voice. We love you, but you know, don't 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 repeat after the me, honey. I'm a black sister. You but you you know, I'm gonna say it for you. I ain't going back and forth with you niggas. I'm living my best life. Honey, she ain't gonna let nobody blackmail her, honey. She said, bitch, I'm telling my own motherfucking story. Dargon and how tall is darn on Nikki? Y'all talking about now, I guess she about five foot ten, five foot eleven, and that that's with the hormone block. I ain't know that there was a such thing as stunt growers, which is another thing that makes me not even more on the fence about transgenders transitioning when they was young. Now, me personally, I stand on the fence of you know wait till you're eighteen, wait till you're fully legal. That way you don't have to even deal with the backlash for, because you know culturally, you know it's different for us black folks. We had, we had to deal with a lot of motherfucker trans, you know, internalized transphobia and homophobia in our community. And sometimes it's not necessarily from a place of intentional malice because of the history of what black folks have gone through. But it's like, bitch, I, I'm not white. I ain't done nothing to this shit to you. you know, me, me doing what I do don't have nothing going on with you. Why is you darn gonna worry about what I got going on? Why are you co-signing all these motherfucker laws going off against me? Because of your personal biblical beliefs, that same biblical belief that darn going to uh, justify you being enslaved. So it's so much hypocrisies and stuff that I don't get with the black side of the community being trans and uh, people not being as accepting. White folks is a lot easier, but not all the times because there are still people that have the all chance of, you know, getting kicked out of the house and, you know, family shunning them. This, that, and the third. Fortunately, her mother was accepting, which is something that not all of us can darn gonna say. She had a very accepting mother, so much so that she started hormones uh, um, as, I think, as young as six. And, you know, got on the stunt gross, was fully dressed. And the, now, I personally don't subscribe to gender roles as far as clothes. Y'all know I dress tomboy down all day, every day, honey. I'm giving darn gone Sierra tease, but everybody know I'm, I'm every woman deep within me. Even with this altar vocals, no, no. Honey, I might have altar range, honey. I might can go down to a D2 boo. But, honey, I am every butch. Of how you doing, boo boo. So with that being said, I, I I don't necessarily subscribe to the fact that you have to be in a dress and all of that. I feel like, honey, if I want the darn gonna have me on some regular jeans and oversized shirt, bitch, I'm stick because the woman is, is still within you regardless. The clothes is secondary. 
You had straight men wearing darn on long robes and stuff in Africa and Greece and they got kilts in Scotland. And it, it don't mean nothing. In, in the Western society of America, we put all these gender roles on shit. Old pink is girly, blue is boyish, and all this, that, and the third. Your dress is womany. Uh, even with the old school, old women don't post and wear pants and stuff. Men don't want to post to wear dresses. Now, granted, I, I understand that there is an agenda going on with the black side. Like I said, so many reasons why black folks be on the fence. But as far as Nikki tutorials, I'm glad that she was able to live um, her truth and it shouldn't be on display. But this is reasons why people feel the need to have to come out. It, it shouldn't really be nobody's business but her partner. And she said she... Um, Already made that note to him. And like most transgender people, we obviously had that conversation before we go to third base. But we don't owe you no explanation on no first date. If it ain't e even no possibility of us even get getting nowhere intimately, why that conversation even needs to be brought up? Hmm. But people act like, you know, when we say stuff, we're doing too much and that... You know, oh, y'all always got to be talking. I don't nobody give a damn what you sleep, uh, who you sleep with, this, that, and the motherfucker third. But then you turn around, y'all always darn gone saying some motherfucker shit, talking about, oh, well, the, yeah, you didn't tell this person. The, the, how the fuck you know who somebody told and didn't tell? Was you in the room? Oh, well, we didn't know. Well, y'all on social media. Y'all said that this is a prime. Y'all kill me with the hypocrisy. First, people say, well, we don't care what people do in their privacy and all this, but you shouldn't have to darn gone feel the need to express yourself. And then when you have somebody like Nikki Tutorials, who didn't darn gone never say nothing, she was just living her best life. Anybody who needed to know already knew. It's like, I'll follow for that, too. I'm seeing video conspiracies of y'all assuming that her boyfriend didn't know that she was transgender as, at, at this late stage in the game. Like, Really? And even so, what, what does that matter to you? I, like she said, she was blackmailed into coming out. And the fact that she was blackmailed shows how much work, more work we got to do. Where in 2020, people still have to feel like you can hold some leverage. I don't know where, how far they thought they was going to get with a white woman who's already successful, who done made millions of dollars. Who, who's an entrepreneur who makes her money by herself because her fan base would have stayed with her regardless, and they have. Her darn on video three days later is still trending on YouTube in the top 20. So uh, the darn on subscribers ain't going anywhere. Matter of fact, the subscriber count has gone up. Matter of fact, I darn on I went and resubscribed to her just to support the darn on fellow sister. She ain't a sister as far as melanated. Highly melanated. Honey, she, she ain't blessed with this you melanin, baby. But she blessed to be part of the teeth side of the community. And you know, I had to give respect to my fellow sister because it's still out here for us. Because regardless of color, regardless of culture, regardless of religion, we all share the commonality of when people darn on judge us with these darn on stereotypes. Number one, we always stereotype as everybody's the street walker. We stereotyped as, oh, everybody's promiscuous, high HIV rates, and all this, that, and the third. And then when you have somebody who clearly does not define in that darn on mold at all, such as myself, but on a much smaller level, like a bitch ain't made it to a million subscribers yet, but at the same time, I, I, now I was tempted a time or two. Like I said, these bills kick my ass. Darn on student loans, talking about darn on garnishing my motherfucker, darn on tax return and shit. Her that girl was darn on willing to do a little something strange for a piece of change, but never brought myself to it. But meanwhile, you got this one over here. Who done uh, uh, made a beauty channel back before YouTube was popular? Done uh, made it into a multi-million dollar empire, honey. And even when she got cheated by uh, Two-Face, uh, lived up to their name, didn't they, honey? I never trust nobody who tell you they are. When somebody tells you they a snake, they uh, they a snake. When somebody, but then again, when somebody tell you that they two faced it, I don't know why you didn't take them at face by you know. But y'all believed in two face, and honey, she found out she, at the end of the deal when she got uh, only fifty thousand dollars, fifty thousand dollars off of ten million dollars, honey. But when you learn, you do better, and she's been learning and doing better ever since. 
So once again, shout out to our girl, Nikki Tutorials, for living in her truth and not letting nobody darn gonna hold anything over her head. Because when you are who you are, honey, nobody can't darn gonna dab you with your fierceness, honey. Let your darn gonna lightness shine through. Shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. Honey, let it shine bright like a diamond. Or in your case, honey, you 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 pearl, not pearl like darn gone Beyonce said, brown skin girl. Ah, right, you you the traditional person in pearl, and we love it, honey. A porcelain darn gone sister out here living in her darn gone truth. Darn gone now inspiring so many people because that really worked against whoever was trying to blackmail her. Y'all try to think that was going to demonize her. That made people respect her all that much more. Because now we got a whole nut of respect for her. Because now knowing that she's truly a double minority, a woman and a trans, you know, being trans, that makes you double. And you done overcame all the obstacles with you. And because at first I couldn't even tell you not one darn on transgender period that got above 10 million subscribers until now. Yeah, we I don't I don't even think we even have a transgender sister that's in the millions club on YouTube. And now to know that we have one of the largest darn on YouTubers as a transgender person, honey, that just changed the whole scope of the game, baby. That just changed the whole scope. So, with that being said, shout out to darn on Nikki Tutorials for not allowing somebody to blackmail her for living in her truth. For her, and then it, it, I, I'm still, once again, on the fence, but once I learned about the growth stoppers, honey, my dream height was five foot eight. I wish I could darn on, and now I'm thinking about it, I wish I could darn on doing my hormones and shit early. Now I got to go through the, all the, she probably didn't even have to do laser hair. And I think she's a natural blonde too. So the hair that she grows in is invisible on her. They just got twice as much hair as everybody else. So it's like when an esthetician, we zoom in, we see all the extra hair that nobody else sees. But me, I got this darn on natural jet black darn on here, baby. Jet black hair that grows in court. And then the thing is, my hair fortunately is fine on my face. So whenever I do get laser hair removal, I don't have to worry about having to go through a full 10 seconds because my sideburns is the only thing that grows in full like this. Everything else, it grows in like a 5 o'clock shadow light. I can have two weeks worth of hair growth and it will be equivalent to the average male's 5 o'clock shadow of just not shaving overnight. That's how naturally, you know, stunted my, like, I grow just enough hair where you can see I have hair, but not enough to ever grow a grow tea, and that's just natural genetics. So, yeah, I got to possibly go, although the hormones might, I, I don't know. Once I finally go through that, I, I'll probably end up still having to do the laser hair removal anyway. I'm just going to be on the safe side and go ahead and do the laser hair removal and be on the safe tip, but I know that once the hormones start kicking in, it, it stunts the rest of the hair growth. So that might save a girl thousands of darn gone dollars. Shoot. If we can darn gone get. Because like the rest of this body darn gone grows a lot, honey. So if we can start stunting that growth. I only thing I'll have to focus on is my face and my underarms. And that would be it. If the chest, And then I naturally don't grow that much on my chest. It, it grows down and then a little bit outward. And that's it. I don't grow a full chest. I literally have no back hair. Legs are hairy as a beast, honey. So if the legs can darn gone get gone as far as hormones, honey, I know that's about three thousand dollars more for savings right there. If my insurance picks it up, because y'all know that motherfucker's still in office, and that's another thing that's been going on since uh um I've been off YouTube is they finally darn gone sent the articles of impeachment to the darn gone Senate. So hopefully. But then y'all know we have to deal with that motherfucker Mike Pence who's really been pulling the purse strings behind the scenes. And But people keep darn on using that again. Uh, talking about, oh, you don't want to get rid of Donald Trump because then we have to deal with a Mike Pence presidency. Bitch, honey, we've already been dealing with it on the low. It's actually been worse because it's like he's been able to hide in, in the damn cut and do all the shit darn on that. Uh, he would have wanted to do as president, but he's in even more of a powerful position as vice president because he gets the darn gonna put everything off on crazy ass Donald Trump. But when it came to all them darn gonna rolling back LGBT laws and shit, honey, I don't even believe that was fully Donald Trump. I believe that was every bit of Mike Pence behind the scenes. 
So it's like, bitch, I'd rather him be on, become on the president for the next eight months because number one, it's too late for your ass to get back on the re-election docket because you're filling in for the darn on term. So it's too late for you to even garner a movement. I don't know why people talk about, oh, we, we got to be afraid for our lives if a uh, Mike. And yeah, maybe if the, if they managed to kick rid of, uh, got rid of Donald Trump in 2017, but bitch, it's already 2020. It's like hell. We can't go nowhere but up from here. He done already kicked the darn on girls up out the army. He already making it where doctors can discriminate against us, uh, uh, not giving us a checkup just because of who we are. Already trying to make it where housing can deny us, trying to make it where even jobs can deny us, like trying to roll it all the way back. But y'all motherfuckers talking about, well, if you don't tell nobody, oh, shut the fuck up with that bullshit. Like I said, not everybody's a damn Nikki Tutorials where, you know, some of us are still clockable, bitch. And I'm in that uh, uh, category half of the time. Like, when I'm wearing very flat shirt, I mean, still, people think I just have a set to me, believe it or not, um, whenever I have a flat shirt on just because of who I am. But some people, like, when they start paying attention to the shoe size and this darn on, uh, this right here, it's like they know. It's like once I they get this $2,500 surgery with this trachea, and, okay, maybe I can darn on fool somebody a little bit more. But it's like still, just, uh, unfortunately, I don't have large shoulders or anything like that. I was perfectly blessed to have a, a curvy body naturally. Like, I, I always, y'all seen my body. Like, I, I have a small waist, you know, wider hips, you know, pretty medium set thighs. So, I'm, I'm naturally blessed to be on the, although I still don't got my dream body because I'm so tall, it just comes out looking slender in most clothes unless I have some skankly clad clothes on. And it's like, but I'm not that type of girl, nor do I have that type of budget. Nor am I in the neighborhood to just be like that without really people thinking I'm on the whole stroll. So it's like, number one, the goal is to get in an area where I could dress, you know, more for my body type without it being... Because if I dress up in this type of neighborhood, people are really going to think of some type of... And, and, you know, and once again, I really don't give a damn what people think. However, it's like, I don't want nobody getting their old ideas in them. So, yeah. Be, I can't wait to be in a new housing area, but once again, shout out to darn old Nikki. She ain't have to go through none of this, honey. She blessed to be in a situation where she was able to darn on become self made, living up in a motherfucking mansion, had a supportive system, and you know, I, I can't darn on uh, um hate on her. I, I give her much darn on respects and stuff, and like I said, with somebody of her level, for I had to find my nail real quick, y'all. This darn on chip was getting on my nerves. Um, I'm sorry, nail subscribers. I know y'all hate it when I darn on. Y'all used to love when my nails was long, but y'all, I had to keep them short for the work, y'all. But anyways, I just still shout out to her for being able to uh, be in a position to live up because not too many of us can say the same thing. Some of us... We end up having to wait till we older. And like I said, I, I, I still think because of the high rate of people who do end up detransitioning and the fact that, you know, some people are really more just gay and just feminine, not necessarily trans, but, you know, the parent might have put it on them a little bit too early versus the child really having the thought. Because, you know, some of us already, you know, like Nikki, I always knew who I was. Uh, I just didn't have Nikki money nor popularity. <laughs> but others, you know, sometimes they don't know. And I think the best bet is to wait till you're 18, in my opinion. But we do see the pros of actually being able to transition early. We see it from It's Bad Me, Bitch. We now see it from darn on uh, Nikki. Now, I'm still waiting for the full black sister to be able to come out and say she did it young, honey. Who, who's on the full black? Now, we got darn... But then again, I... No, she's Latina. And you know, I was about to say, ain't Bambi darn gone black? But that, you, you know, she might be half afro I think she's half black, half white, learn on Latina. I know she's Latina. I just don't know what side of the spectrum. I, I want to say she's more on the, you know, mid side of the spectrum. But, yeah, we got her. And then we got, you know, now we got Princess. I mean, not Princess Jules. 
She, we we seen her transition on during on camera in her twenties, but we now got Nikki tutorials. But we don't have the Asian representation nor the black representation. I'd be glad to see that. But once again, showing more people in their truth. And the reason why that this has to happen is to take the ammunition from hypocrites who claim that they don't give a damn about what people are doing. Yet then behind the scenes, you're trying to take away, you know, our rights to be in houses. Take away our rights to, and when y'all say, "Well, it's not me doing this; it's damn Congress." Well, who's electing the motherfuckers into the office? And then y'all, y'all gonna quit that motherfucker shit. Well, yeah, y'all are darn gonna co-sign in the motherfucker shit because y'all don't darn gonna speak out against it. Y'all want us to shut the fuck up and not be having the darn gonna march down the street, darn gonna talking about our darn gonna gender identity all day. Well, darn on, well, why don't you darn on call your darn on House of Representatives and Senators and tell us, uh, tell them to stop darn on uh, targeting LGBT darn on people where we wouldn't have to always be down there talking about ourselves every day. How about that? And, and that's why it's so similar to black oppression, not congruent. Before y'all pro-black motherfuckers get down in that comment section, similarity and congruencies are differences. The similarities between LGBT oppression and black oppression is that it's always something put against us by no fault of our own. And then people just say, get over it. And, oh, it's not me doing it. I'm not racist, that, that, and the third. But then you darn gonna vote somebody in that darn gonna uphold it. And you are so complacent within it because you indirectly benefit from it because of your white privilege, uh, even to this day, that you don't really fight back against the system that oppresses us because by default, you still get a darn gonna step up even as a poor white person over a black person. So you are still complacent even if you never said the N-word a day in your life. You are still complacent if you are not darn on actively speaking out against it. And that does not necessarily mean you got to be all the way on the Rachel Doll side type shit and darn on, you know, put on the dashiki and darn on afro. You don't have to go that far. You don't have to go like Sean King and pretend to be a darn on brother, honey. Like we ain't saying for y'all to go that far. Um, but still, it's like, just darn on people who y'all vote in, and that's regardless of any side of the party that you own. I don't give a damn, Democrat, Republican, Independent, all of them have been fucked up when it comes to these issues of minorities, from, you know, blacks to LGBTs. So that's where the similarities are right there. So I'm glad to see success stories where we have to deal with all this type of shit. And then we see people overcome it, and, and especially, like I said, when you're black and trans. Now, fortunately, you know, Nikki still had a little bit of white privilege, but once again, trans are trans at the end of the day. She still could have faced darn on being kicked out the house, could have still been faced darn on being targeted, subject to darn on, you know, death threats for real, for real, as opposed to them darn on blackmailing threats. Honey, I'd rather get the blackmailing threats versus the ones trying to darn on say that they're going to shank me if they see me tomorrow. Bitch, you come over here if you want to. Now, the, the other side about being a hood girl is, honey, we about that life. But, yeah, fortunately, she she looked like she ain't even had to grow up from the worst side of the darn on track cycle. She strikes me as a suburb, she, especially if she talking about she was able to get her darn on hormone. Because back in the day, honey, darn on uh, uh, Medicaid and, uh, you know, even private insurance wasn't even paying for it. So whether you had Medicaid or if you had your own private insurance, honey, that was seen as cosmetic surgery. Nine days, it could be on your main stuff as well. Until Trump try to roll that shit back to it, if he haven't already. Like I said, that motherfucker with Pence that'll roll so much shit back behind the scenes, I'm ready for him to come to the motherfucking light, bitch. It's time for your vampire ass to come to the light and burn, baby, burn. Bum, bum, bum. Burn, baby, burn. Bitch, I'm ready for your old vampire. He he reminds me of darn on Draco Malfoy off of motherfucking Harry Potter. Where is darn on Dobby the darn on uh, zap your ass back across the castle darn on flow motherfucker but yeah y'all talking about oh we can't get rid of Pence because of what he would do worse to the gay hell bitch that's like darn on saying uh we we can't get rid of who what's to say that, that's like saying we can't get rid of Donald Trump 
for his racism. And I had a bad example because I, I'm trying to think of a situation where it's like equivalent to black people, but it's like, that's like saying one person who is, we can't get rid of this person because of their tendencies of, you know, saying shit about black people. But then you got this person who actually has the actual disdain for black people. Like with Donald Trump with the housing discrimination, Honey, I actually find that very minor with him. Like, he, he, he strikes me as soft court because we actually have to do a video on different types of racism. Uh, Donald Trump strikes me as that medium level racist where he has some racial tendencies that's not even all the way directly malicious, this, that, and the third. However, prior to getting up with darn on Mike Pence, he, he strikes me as the person that would it would at least be in the presence of black people. Hell, we done seen it on Celebrity Apprentice. We done seen it in his day-to-day -day life with Amarosa and all this, that, and third. So he's not the racist as in the type that can't stand black people at all, this, that, and the third. Uh, but he has his internalized biases. Um, and I don't think he actually had a problem with LGBTs at all. But once he got with that motherfucker Mike Pence, all of a sudden we done seen a whole different side. So once again, even more reason for us to have him come to the forefront. And like I said, we can deal with hell. We already been dealing with all the bullshit he's been doing for the uh, for the past three years behind the scenes. Most silent vice president in history because he's moving like a snake behind the scenes. Bitch, darn gonna pull back the curtain so we can see what's behind him. Pull back the curtain so we can see the darn on person pulling the darn on strings. So I, I'll be glad if they kick him out by February. Honey, we can darn on survive Mike Pence for March, April, for for 11 months. We, we can survive his ass for 11 months. Because like I said, we've already been going through enough as it is right now. And with, with him being at the forefront, he would have to own up to all his shit. He would no longer have to, he would, he won't be able to hide behind Donald Trump. And people who are not as blessed as darn on um, Nikki Tutorials, we can finally uh, be able to point directly towards Mike. Because right now he's been able to hide and put, uh, point everything out and everybody's dumb enough to think, all oh, this is on Trump. No, I, I, I see through Mike Pence bullshit as well. Now darn on Donald Trump allowing himself to darn on be played. He should still be out of there now because with the election stuff, he that he did most of that shit on his own accord, and it's right there. So just off of that, that that he's ought to be he ought to be gone anyways. But darn gone far as Mike Pence, he ain't electable, and the other people know it. That's why why you think so many of them darn gone Republicans with all the bullshit that Donald Trump been going through, embarrassing them. Put a you know it's bad when you embarrass darn gone Republicans because they they do a lot of stuff that darn gone embarrass their own damn selves. So when you darn gonna do something to really embarrass them, you know you really fucked up, motherfucker. But once again, you letting the darn gone one person that's worse off than you that went in darn gonna get back by none of them has, and because he's darn gone Mike Pence, he ain't the one to fake the phone. He, he's that darn on old, I ain't even want you to walk along the same side of the street as me. He's that darn on Joe Biden darn on type before Joe Biden had to get PC. You know, Joe Biden's a Democrat and, he, you know, being part of the Democrats, you got at least fake like you tolerate black people. But darn on Mike Pence is that person that just don't give a damn. Like, he's that person that really would be the grand wizard and shit. And I know y'all going to point out to some Democrats that were a part of the, uh, but I'm talking about today. Not yeah, we know the motherfucker still been in office since then, but I'm talking about as in still acting like that today. We got the, they have to fake the phone. Republicans, honey, they darn gonna don't fake the phone. They, 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 I, I give it to them. They darn gonna show their true colors and I, I have to respect them for that. And by, and, that, and by that reason, that's why I can't be part of the darn on divestment community. I've just gotten to the point where I vote based off of the darn on... Uh, and I used to be a blind Democrat. I, I used to. But I got to the point where uh, when I turned 18, I had to turn independent on the ass. I, I, I end up always having to go in the mix of Republicans and Democrats. Made me darn on wish darn on Marion Wimerson joined back in as a Republican. And they're going to give a whole new scope to the... Matter of fact, that would be a thing right there. 
But she done got caught up into the party politics too. Talking about she not she, she not gonna darn gonna support anybody who get the ticket. I said, oh hell. There where she went wrong. Burn your body and get that ticket. Marion Wimson on them all day as opposed to I rather she darn gonna go independent. I rather she darn gonna do a Jill Stein, honey. But we'll talk more about that in another video. But those are my thoughts on the day. A little bit of celebrity talks and of what not to make up for the week that I've been gone. So y'all leave y'all thoughts about what y'all thought about Nikki coming out. What are y'all thoughts about this impeachment process? And like I said, with Dargon Mike Pence pulling the uh, strings, we are now be able to finally see him for who he is if he becomes president. Like I said, that's the best thing that really could happen to us on the low. People so worried. It's like, well, hell, he's been darn on doing everything like, unbeknownst to you. Now he will be held accountable. At least he ain't darn gonna pass no bills worth money. The Democrats control the damn house. It is what it is. So that's my thoughts, y'all, on this whole situation. I'll be back. It's 9 o'clock. I got to get me some meat, get ready. I got another morning shift tomorrow. And then, of course, y'all know I can't, you know, do no videos Saturday, Sunday. And then Monday, I don't know if this demon going to be going to work on Monday or not. Uh, another reason why I need my own house, but more likely they, I don't know, the, the, the plant that she works at that I used to work at is very conservative, so they might be, they might not darn gonna let her ass off on Martin Luther King Day, they, they might, you know, be like, no bitch, we don't, we don't darn gonna celebrate Martin Luther King over here, bitch, you coming in to work the darn gonna cut up these chickens, honey, so, hope, I, I shouldn't say hopefully, because that would be so fucked up if they don't give her Monday off. And because it's like, come on now. It, it's a fair, it, she didn't even get New Year's off. Did she? Let me see. Let me see. I don't even think they gave her New Year. No, they end up working New Year's Day. So it's like, now they let Christmas off. They, 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 once again, they, they, once, but then again, but they're very Christian, though. So it's like Thanksgiving Christian is darn gone. I mean, Thanksgiving and Christmas is a given. But I don't know how they're going to do this Martin Luther King Day. I know they give up President's Day off. Uh, but I don't know how Martin Luther King they go. They might darn gone. If, if, and if that's the case, then I might not be able to do a video back again with y'all until Tuesday. And it gets uploaded Wednesday. Let me go ahead and check my schedule real quick. Yes, y'all, I actually have a schedule. I'm telling y'all, it, it, it's actually gotten serious. So, two, okay, it's a short day for me. It's, it's my 9 to 5 that day, so I will be doing a video that Tuesday. None, but I want to get one more in. Hopefully, this demon goes to work tomorrow, and I get home early enough where I can do one more. And that would be my Marion Wimson video, and it would be uploaded this weekend. But if not, then it would be Wednesday. And, Lord, I, I don't want it to be that late because it's like, Wednesday is going to put us, what, at like the 24th of the month or whatever? Oh, the 22nd, but still, she dropped out the race on the 10th, and here I am coming with the news 12 days late. Hell, Cory Booker done went and dropped out the race by uh, at the moment. I ain't even got to him. Oh, darn on uh, Walsh looking ass. He remind me of that darn on Walsh off of the darn on Bugs life. I didn't miss him at all. And then they complaining about no darn on people of color on the stage. Honey, the only person I darn on miss that. Uh, uh, and I ain't even get. I was working. I ain't even get the darn on do the debates. I won't even be able to see the debates until this Saturday. So, yeah, that's why I ain't even come to y'all with a, a debates. But only uh, person I'm mad of color that wasn't on the stage was Andrew Yang. Honey, darn on the people of color. Honey, not all skin folk, kin folk. Darn on people talking about Cory Booker and Kamala wasn't on the darn they wasn't darn on speaking to none of our damn issues, so what the fuck is matter? Hell darn on Andrew Yang do more better for black people than anybody other than Marion Wimp. But you know, once again I'm revealing too much. We we'll discuss that in a whole nother video about you know, why I think Andrew Yang is also a uh, very great for black people. But that's a whole nother subject. So, y'all look out for that. Feel free to thumbs up. Give me y'all thoughts about this Nikki Tutorial situation. Um, and anything else I spoke about in this video. And I will see y'all soon with more videos. Bye.